So for this video, I've got a 2013 Toyota Tundra. I'm going to install a backup camera and a remote start with the alarm. Come on, let's check it out. This truck is really well equipped from the factory. It's got XM radio, and it's got a lot of bells and whistles, but what it needs is a backup camera. And we're going to install one right here in the mirror. Access to the remote start wiring is here underneath the steering column and in the back of the glove box we have the tire pressure monitor. It's pretty easy to get to, it's mostly just 10 millimeter screws. I'm going to replace the dealership license plate frame with one that has a backup camera. It's got a black chrome finish and is equipped with night vision. This is the replacement license plate frame. It's got an awesome finish. It looks good on the black truck. It's already got the camera mounted in the center and it's adjustable. Plus, it has the built in night vision. Hey, hang on while I go ahead and put this tail light back in. Next, the video signal and reverse trigger wiring are ran underneath the truck. I found a great grommet here and I use zip ties on the factory wiring loom the rest of the way down the body. The rear view mirror is attached to the windshield by a T20 Torx here on the bottom. It's really easy to get off. You just pop the mirror off and I can replace it with the one that has the monitor built into it. For the remote starter, I'm using a Prestige 787C and FL can. It's got really great range, but it's got a ton of channels for future upgradability. FL can allows the factory remotes to control the alarm and remote starter as well, and I decided to mount the siren here by the battery in the engine compartment. You can view your camera anytime by turning it on with the power button here on the mirror or it's going to turn on automatically whenever the truck is put in reverse. Thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. We love you YouTube.